Well, Indiana will kick off, and that is Scott Bunnell, a 5'11", 170-pound junior from Newburgh, Indiana. And he will be kicking off to trouble. Number six is Tyrone Wheatley, and number 21, ooh, Desmond Howard. He's averaging 32 yards per kickoff return. He has returned two in his career for touchdowns. One this year, 93 yards against Boston College. This is Bernie Leggett. saving tackle but not before Ricky Powers goes for 40 yards Michigan caught Indiana in a strong safety blitz that's why there were no secondary people and coming across your screen Yale Van Dyne gets a great block on the remaining defensive back Ricky Powers is sprung on the first play of the game a very simple play and that's going to shock this undersized 4-3 defense Finally be cut down near the 12. And John Miller, number 40, was over there with Mose Richards in the cornerback. Bill Mallory saying he'd make a great coach, and he, he thinks he wants to go back to Massimo in that high school hotbed of football. 37-yard field goal attempt by Carlson, and look at this. He swings it to the left, and we are scoreless here at Michigan Stadium. the first down Eddie Thomas well they got the 10 and more Green goes down at the 25 Brian Townsend his third sack this year that's too bad for the Hoosiers and Trent Green got pushed out of the pocket so quickly, and Brian Townsend did a nice job of making Green not see a wide-open receiver, their tight end, Rod Coleman, in the end zone, just waving frantically, and then was able to wrap up and make a nice tackle. He hits it well. And Indiana takes the early lead on Michigan. It's the Hoosiers three. The Wolverines nothing on homecoming in Ann Arbor. Wheatley in the offensive backfield for Powers. They throw it and the catch is made by Yale Van Dyne. That's his 22nd grab this year. Walter Smith with a fine catch and a first down for Michigan. back to Debo near another first down at the 31 yard line Jim Summerall number 44 with the hit coming up from the strong safety dump it off to Johnson 25 he's to the 10 power to the top of your screen and they look for him there's the fade, and there's the touchdown. Well, it's really not hard to call. Indiana knows they're going to do it, too, but how do you stop this? The guy's making diving catches. That's a perfect pass. You still have to stop the run. I mean, that was, by Richardson, decent defense. I mean, you still had to put it in a little box. And Gerback is just showing that he has a touch for a six-foot-five man that a lot of quarterbacks don't possess. a touchdown his seventh rushing touchdown this year 
Well, guys, it's one of collegiate football's truly distinctive helmet designs. It's also one of its most unexplainable. Perhaps a stylized M? No. A winged Wolverine? Never seen one of those. In fact, the design has absolutely nothing to do with the state or the animal. Trying to make his uh, receivers more visible, the legendary coach Fritz Chrysler in 1938 decided to paint the leather stitching on his helmet. The stitching just happens to be in this design, and it's always stuck, and I don't think they'll ever change it. In fact, this helmet was worn by the only Heisman winner in Michigan's history, Tom Harmon, number 98, in 1940. Guys, you think that we're uh, looking at another wearer of this helmet, the, the distinctive helmet on the field today? We may, in number 21, Desmond Howard, and he's wearing that helmet, and so is Jesse Johnson, and Johnson just rumbled into Indiana territory to the 42-yard line. the catch and first down to the 26 yard line. Walter Smith, first down, Walter Smith inside the 10 to the 7. instead of chess. I mean, you look out there last time, he goes with the fade. This time he fakes the fade and comes in on the slant. And, and this is easier than running the ball. You only have to have two people do something right on this play because you're throwing it so quickly. That's as open as you can get. And I don't think Indiana's good enough to play that defense. You're going to have to gamble that you're going to have to double cover that guy and stop with nine people. Bring the blitz from the outside. Look at the Tommy up the throw. The catch is made again for the first down. And what a terrific performance by the wideouts in this game. Dunbar to the outside. Good block by Lewis. He's near the six-yard line. Otis Williams will make the tackle, but they'll need six yards for the touchdown. Third and goal from the six. Down he goes! Brian Townsend, number 45, a senior from Cincinnati. Scott Bunnell, perfect two for two in this game. It is 14 to 13. Michigan with a one-point lead. Nine seconds remaining in the first half. Let's go down. Dunbar, he had 57 yards rushing first half. Beatty goes in motion. Dunbar getting to the outside. Boy, they stretch it out, don't they? First punt today by Jim DiGiulio. And they kick it away from Howard, but look at the field position Michigan will have to start the second half. A sophomore from Birmingham, Michigan, steps in there. And they give it to Powers. And Powers is by the right side. And Ricky Powers is inside the 25-yard line. He's looking to Howard. Throws the football. There it is. It's incomplete. He could not hold on. Mike Middleton with the coverage. Katie Carlson from 36 yards out. He missed his first opportunity. This one's long enough, and it's through. Well, Indiana has to feel mighty fortunate holding Michigan to just three, and it's now the Wolverines 17-13 over the Hoosiers. Gerbach, he led them to three points in the first possession of this second half. And just Jesse Johnson first down and plenty more. Johnson, a touchdown saving tackle by Damon Watts. It's looking like we're going to have it right down to the wire in this football game. From 47 yards out. It's long enough. But it is wide. 
the second time J.D. Carlson has missed in this game. That time. And you can see him noticeably limping as he comes to the line of scrimmage. Indiana 10 of 15 third down conversion. They need 14 on third down here. They're going for the home run. The catch is made! A first down! Eddie Beatty had his man beat, and Green, who's limping through it beautifully. Dunbar again. Michigan stretches it out. He's going backwards. Green throws. Incomplete. Thomas was open for a moment, and Green thought he had him. Bunnell, he hit one 42 earlier. This one's from 27. It's up. It's good. And University of Michigan leads by one. It's homecoming. And they're trying to send this crowd of 106,000 home happy. Howard, number 21. Wheatley, number six, awaiting the kick from Scott Bunnell. trophy to anybody but Desmond Howard this year. He's the most electrifying football player I've seen. The whole Michigan game is built around this guy. He's five foot seven or five foot eight, 160 pounds, but he absolutely changes the game. I'll tell you, Mosey Richardson makes the tackle here. This guy's had enough Desmond Howard for the rest of his life. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, but Gary Moller said, hey, when you got a guy with a gun like Elvis, you got to go to the air. Johnson slams his way for the first down on third and two. And there goes two on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, nine against ten inside. Gerback. Howard. He is something else. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at the Heisman Trophy winner this year. Three touchdown passes. He went up and snapped that one. I don't know what else Bill Mallory can do. You can't send three guys out with him when he goes out there. They're coming right at you. Desmond Howard, 5'10", 5'9", maybe, 165 pounds, jumps up with the hands, catches the back end of the football, takes the hit from Mosey Richardson, who's going to have nightmares about number 21 the rest of his life. I put two people out there, Richardson and Summerall. They're going to fool Summerall with the play action. Stop it right now. You see Summerall bite in the outside technique by Richardson, and there's the pass and the great catch by Desmond Howard. 15 touchdowns this year. Thomas Lewis bringing it back. He's by midfield. And finally brought down by Alfie Birch. But Indiana will have excellent field position, down by eight with seven minutes to play. First and goal. to the five to the four and then it's eric anderson 37 to knock him down dunbar again and anderson there again yep and they don't get it so it's fourth and goal and they may have lost the yard the leading tackler in 88, 89, and 90, 
plus Chris Hutchinson, number 97. You know, in a situation like this, you think players, not plays. And Eric Anderson came up and made the play. And I tell you, Indiana, every player on that football team should be proud of the way they played today. But they have not beat Michigan at Ann Arbor since 1967. It will be 25 years. And they try again next year. But Bill Mallory, a courageous effort. But the number four Wolverines prevail. 24-16 over the Indiana Hoosiers. Dunbar with 116, but Desmond Howard, three touchdowns for Gary Danielson. I'm Steve Fiziak. Goodbye, everybody.